Hello friends. Welcome to my woo! Welcome to my <laughs> That's a perfect way to start this. I almost knocked my entire kitchen table over. Hey. <laughs> now, if I can do this without destroying my entire apartment, I'll be happy. Okay. <clears throat> Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am so excited about this. My name is Chris and I am here to share my music and and other things. I am officially an opera singer. I've trained for like 20 years about. I have two degrees in performance, in voice performance, and I am a professional opera singer by trade. However, comma, uh, in the last couple years, well the last year really, I've been just really like non-committal to any particular style of music when you train as an opera singer and when you become a professional, in the training part of it, you're not necessarily encouraged to explore other types of singing and other techniques and other ways of expressing yourself vocally, maybe? That's maybe a generalization, but it's been my experience and the experience of a lot of my friends. And so, just since I finished grad school, I've been exploring different things vocally, and in the last year, some some different types of things have really just sort of clicked with me, like music theater and pop and other other things. And um, <laughs> I was just thinking about those throat singers in like I don't know Africa or something, and they like hit their throat and they can sing like three pitches at once. And I was about to say that, but I don't really know what they're called. And I was like, you know, and I don't know. It would have been funny if I like. <clears throat> knew what they were called and just said it and then I did it, but anyway. Uh, so, uh, the conventional route of an opera singer, for those of you who don't know, is you get your degrees, you get two degrees, and then you audition for young artist programs, you get into one, and they put you through to, I don't know, a big company, you get an agent, you get a manager, and then you start working. I mean, that is like the conventional ideal, that's what everybody kind of wants and strives for, but it is a pain in the ass. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, I mean, that's never worked for me, and I'm a good singer. I know I'm a good singer, it's not like, because you know, there's some people who like, are not good, and they're like, I don't understand why things aren't working for me, like, I think that the frustration comes from the fact that I have been like, I felt stuck in the convention of having to do it that way, and recently I've, I have freed myself of this convention. And, um, the irony is that this is all very unconventional for me, because I am a technological moron. I can barely, I barely got this camera on tonight, okay? I'm knocking things over, I've spilled my wine, it's just ridiculous. Um, so this is like, you know, breaking convention for me, but the irony or paradox is that f for the rest of the world, especially the United States, this is the most conventional thing to do. To put yourself online, to get a vlog, to talk about something or nothing, you're talented, you're not, ta you're not talented, it doesn't really matter, you're probably going to be famous anyway, because it doesn't take anything to become famous here, in America. Yeah, I mean, you just have to pretty much talk about the fact that, I don't know, you took your clothes off and had a squirrel for breakfast or something. That's all it takes. Put that online, run outside screaming, I just ate a squirrel naked, and you'll be a celebrity. Okay, that's all it takes here. Talent is not required. So, having said that, um, sorry. <laughs> I have been really inspired by a couple people on YouTube. As I said, I'm a, a technological geek, so I don't like, I don't have a lot of YouTube friends or subscribe. I don't have any subscribers yet. <laughs> We're going to change that, aren't we? <laughs> and, uh, and I don't have a lot of subscriptions, but I've been inspired by a couple people on YouTube that have really sort of opened my mind uh, in terms of what could be possible. The first one, uh, and really the most prominent, is Michael Buckley, What the Buck Show. I think he's one of the funniest people on the planet, and I discovered him, I don't know, I was actually looking uh, for some footage from the Oscars last spring, found 
uh, What the Buck show about the Oscars, and I had never heard of him or seen him before, and I, it was something about Jennifer Hudson had fried chicken in her pocket and Beyonce tried to kill her, it's something, it was hysterical, and his rise on YouTube has been so inspiring to see how he's handled himself, how he's handled Then Sam Harris, um, you know, who became famous like 20 some years ago when he won Star Search, the first year of Star Search, Search with um, uh, Over the Rainbow, and I was like nine years old, and he was like my hero because I thought his voice was really exciting. When he would sing the end, I tried to like do it for months and months and months. I'd be downstairs in the rec room going, trying to crank myself up to his final note. <laughs> And I never quite made it to that note, but he was such an inspiration, and um, he's done so much in the last 20 years, and now is showing himself to be, you know, just incredibly talented, very smart, kind of an activist, um, and really stands up for what's right. And he's putting it all out there online, and I think it's just incredibly inspiring. And also, an, a new person on YouTube, Daniel Cartier, very funny, very talented musician from New England. Uh, I just discovered him like a month ago, and I just like, you know, I just like the concept of what he's doing, and I thought, okay, I could do that, I could do that. I could do that, I think. Um, so, here I am, uh, my partner is a musician and a singer, an amazing singer. He's Little Hot Guy on YouTube, check his videos out. He's going to be playing for me, and I'm going to be singing. And we're going to put some stuff out there, and I hope you like it. Um, please comment. Please rate my videos and please, please subscribe and tell your friends and your family and your dog and your squirrel. Please check out my MySpace page. My, my what? My what? What? My MySpace page. It is. My MySpace page is www.myspace.com slash chrisjonesbaritone. Why am I leaning over here like I have an equilibrium disorder? Why am I leaning? I don't know. <laughs> uh, so, um, thanks for checking out my page. I'm so excited to, to meet you all and to share my music with you and my thoughts about, about opera singers and the world of opera and the world of music theater. And I don't know, I'm telling you, you will not be bored because let me tell you, the life of a, a struggling opera singer, the day-to-dayness of it could rival any and all of the best reality shows. Although that's an oxymoron because I hate reality shows except for Idol, which I'm obsessed with, and all the modeling shows. Make Me a Model, Top Model, Runway Down the Red Carpet Model, all that. Oh my god, I love it. Anyway, so, I'm very excited. Please check out my page and have a great time uh, and have a great day. Take care. Bye.